Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod for the Abishu 200BX called the Tuama. Now this mod's a little bit older, it came out when all the stock vehicle backgrounds looked just like that, so it stands out a little bit right now. But to start things off, we're going to spawn up a regular 200BX, and then we'll also spawn up a Tuama, so you can see the difference between the two vehicles. And just to make things as consistent as possible, both of them will have a manual transmission, even though it really does not matter at all. So on the back of this one, it says Tuama. On the back of this one, it says 200BX. But the more interesting thing is on the front of the vehicle. That's a 200BX front for sure. This one, however, it's a little bit different. That doesn't look like that one. But you look at it, and you're like, I recognize that look from somewhere, don't I? Wait a minute, Tuama, 200BX, Pessima. Oh my goodness, that's the front end from a Pessima. And that truly is the front end from a Pessima. So we're going to spawn up a Pessima right next to it. So you can see the front of this thing in comparison to the front of the Tuama. So there's the front of the Pessima. There's the front of the Tuama. The only difference is the logo right between the headlights. Otherwise, it looks virtually identical between the two vehicles. So if you see this in your rearview mirrors, you're going to think, oh, that's a Pessima behind me. But it's not. It's actually a 200BX, which I would say is a more fun car to drive. But the Pessima actually has those fun rally versions, which are equally fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and get out of the Pessimas, get into the Tuama, and crash this thing up so you can see what it looks like. We already just lost the hubcap. That was fast. Let's lose a couple more right here. Nope. The hubcap somehow stayed on right there. Anyways, crash about 40 miles per hour, and this should be pretty much in the middle of the vehicle. There we go. And you can mostly just focus on how did the front fare right there. Seems like it fared perfectly fine. The headlights look really sad, though, when they got crashed up. Also, the fenders are actually different, although it's hard to tell right now because they're a little deformed. But if we bring it back over here, you notice these fenders kind of clearly match the Pessima shape, where on the ones on the 200BX, they have a slightly different shape to them. So back to my Tuama. We got many different types of Tuama. That is the base Tuama, which is the most boring of Tuamas. There's also the Type L, which is actually slightly cosmetically different in the front. So let me spawn this thing up to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so on the front of this one, you see there's an extra air intake between the headlights. That was not there on the other one. And if we look at the Pessima, it doesn't have that. But it can. If you have a more sporty version of the Pessima, it has an extra air intake just like that. So we'll just grab this one because I know it has that. And we'll take a look at the front of this, and it looks just like the front on the Tuama. The only real difference is the Tuama has a logo right in between the headlights where the Pessima does not. But if you saw it in the rear view mirror, again, you would not be able to tell which is which. Anyways, let's go for a little bit of a flight right here. Oh, goodness. Oh, upright. I don't know how I managed to land that thing upright. I thought for sure I was going to flip over. Just doing a little bit of a dance for you guys, that's all. We'll drive this around for a little bit, but it's pulling hard to the right, so I don't want to drive it too much. We'll just find something interesting and slam into it so you can see the front deform a little bit. How about those trees over there? Those look pretty interesting. Am I going to actually fly up to it or not? Yes, yes, yes. This is perfect. We're going to hit right into the tree. Get that front end camera, and beautiful. Ooh, that looked cool. You can see, like, the engine backfiring, but because there was no exhaust attached, it just kind of backfired on the underside of the car. And there is the finished outcome from the crash. Really, all we can look at here is the fenders. They look fine. And actually, there's still part of the grill there, although I don't know where the headlights ended up. They flew off into, well, who knows where. Let's see if we can find them. Is that a headlight? Is that a headlight? Yes, it is. You can tell that's a headlight. And can we turn it on? No. I was just wondering, you know, it's possible that they accidentally made it where you could turn it on even after it flies out the car. It didn't happen, but it was possible. All right, headlights off. And let's go to another version of the Tuama. This time we're going to be trying out the Special Pursuit Unit, which if you look at the stats, is actually a good amount faster than the normal police one. That one has about 220 horsepower. This one has about 250 that's a pretty significant increase in power. I would definitely want this as my cop car. And if I'm a cop car, I gotta have something to chase. So how about we switch out one of these cars for the slaughter version of the Tuama, which has about 650 horsepower. Quite a significant boost over the power of my car. And I don't need this anymore, so we could go ahead and remove the Pessima. Then we're gonna go to the AI menu and tell them to go whichever direction they want, and I'm just gonna try to keep up with them. Now that vehicle I'm chasing is very similar to the 200BX Demon, except it has an additional 50-ish horsepower, just like my car does over the normal Special Pursuit unit. And oh my goodness, they are fast. I am trying to push this car a little bit faster than I should, and I just kissed that corner. Thankfully, no damage to the suspension as far as I can tell, and I'm actually catching up to them. You're under arrest! 
They get them to stop. They get them to stop. Oh, they're going to keep driving, aren't they? Uh-uh. No, you're not. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Get out the car. Get out the car. Hands up. I, I officially caught him as far as I'm concerned. He has nowhere to go. But that felt way too easy, didn't it? So, let's try this again, but this time we're going to give them a bit of a head start. Let's let them go around that first corner, and that should be enough for it to be interesting. Actually, I don't know which way they went, though. Oh, wow. They are far away. Like, I just barely saw a dot in this direction, so I know they went to the left and not right, but a half second later, I would have known which direction they went. They are clearly outspeeding me on these straights, so I gotta do these corners really well to be able to catch them. I felt like those ones weren't too bad. Yeah, I was sliding a lot, but this is a slippery car. It's hard to keep it straight. And, oh, come on, car. It was really stuck at a low RPM for a minute, and it looks like I'm not really gaining on them, so we need a new plan. Let's use that thing between my ears called a brand and try to... Take a shortcut here and there and cut them off. That's what we're going to use. We're going to use all my brand power. So if we go left here, hopefully they'll be going in my same direction. We'll collide into each other in a head-on collision. Ideally. Let's see if that actually happens. No, but I am gaining on them actually after doing that, it looks like. They are well within my reaching distance. I just got to get a couple of good corners going and I think I could get them. Like maybe right after this next corner, I might be able to get them. I'm going to cut this thing real tight. Oh, car, what are you doing? Car, car, please. Oh, that was awful. My engine, for some reason, was stuck at a really low RPM. I should say my transmission was stuck in a high gear and it was not downshifting. Police officers really need manual transmissions so they can maximize driving efficiency and catch the criminals with their far superior cars. All right, we're going to get on them again. If I don't accidentally spin this thing out. Like, this thing is slippery at these speeds. I gotta be real careful with the cornering, but I'm basically flooring it through most of this area, and I am catching up to them. Oh, we're getting so close now. Oh, um, never mind. They're outspeeding me again, and they're losing me. I thought I was gonna catch them. I just thought wrong. Except, are they gonna slow down a little bit again? Oh, I'm like topped out almost right here, and they are just leaving me in the dust. That hurts. Here's a little bit of a corner. I'm not gonna slow down. I'm gonna just go full speed in this thing. Is it gonna be enough? I'm gaining on them. This is good. This is good. This is really good. I'm gonna get them. I got you now, you dirty criminal. Oh, really? I could not have done that corner any better, too. All right, we're exiting the freeway. This is a big crash because I'm gonna stop them no matter the cost. Dirty criminal, you have been destroyed. Because I'm the police. I do what I want. I'll right, get this thing up right and then we'll take a look at the damage of the car. So this one over here, mostly looking at the two of my parts. Kind of hard to tell because most of them fell off, but the fenders look fine. Over here, same story. Everything fell off except for the fenders. So let's go ahead and reset both of these cars and try out the fast version. Known as Slaughter. AI, stop it. Let me show you how to drive this thing. Now one thing that I should point out is this does not have the rear wing that the demon does. The demon got the rear wing in an update later on. So I would expect this thing to be much less stable than the demon with the extra power and less downforce. And I'm not sure if this is a car or a flamethrower. My goodness, this exhaust is just going mad. It doesn't stop. I mean, half this is the way I drive. I'm really pressing the throttle on and off because it has so little traction when you get on the power. But still, that was ridiculous. So yeah, though, I can say pretty easily this car is a little bit harder to control than the Demon. It's like, yeah, I'm keeping it on the road. Good thing it's four lanes wide, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't be. Uh-oh, oh, and we're flipping, okay. And now we're flying, and now we're not. And now the car is dead. Once again, we'll take a look at the front. Not really much you could look at there, and ooh, look at the back. Back looks a lot worse than the front. Anyways, we'll reset this. So let's grab a different Tuoma. This time we're gonna go with the race Tuoma, which has the same engine as the track version of the 200BX, but for some reason, it's quite a bit slower from zero to 60. It takes 5.4 seconds, where the track 200BX only takes 5.1 seconds, which doesn't really make much sense because the only difference is the looks of the front, which might add a little bit of weight, but not that much, I would think. And yeah, it changes the aerodynamics, but again, I didn't think it would change it that much. So I'll move the car over here and freshen it up just in case it got damaged from spawning. And then just for extra fun, we're gonna tell the AI to chase me and see if we can get away from them. Luckily, I should be able to launch out faster than them because the slaughter has to build up boost, and then the police car just doesn't have as much power as me. And I think that worked. No worries about the AI catching me now. And we're just going to see how this thing compares to the race version in terms of driving feel. 
So going around this corner right here, do I notice anything significantly different? Nah, that felt just like I was driving a 200BX. Wait a minute, did I spawn up a 200BX? No. <laughs> I confused myself, because the trunk on this one says 200BX. And I was like, wait a minute, and I look at the front, it's like, nah, that is a Pestima front on that thing. That's funny. So there's one very, very minor issue I found with the mod, and that is it. Otherwise, I have had no issues with this mod whatsoever. So let's go ahead and make our way up this hill and see if we could jump the barrier at the end of this, because I know there's a barrier at the end. We're just going to go as fast as we can. I can't remember if there's multiple jumps or just one. It's just one, and we almost cleared it. So close to clearing it. All right, so which of the cars chasing me is going to get here first? Um, Looks like the cop car, maybe, because this one is not doing well. Yeah, well, the cop car's not doing so great either. He just about crashed right there. I don't think any of these fools are going to find me that easy. He has too much power. He can't even drive in a straight line. He's done. Y'all hear that? That is weird. Didn't do that time. So it's like the echoing sound of whatever's happening? Yeah, that is really strange. Never seen that before. Anyways, though, it looks like the police 200BX is here to take me down. Or just crash into the wall. And now he's stuck. He did the best he could. He did way better than the car with triple his horsepower almost. So I say he did an acceptable job. Anyways, we'll reset everything and tell the AI to stop chasing me down because we're done doing that, guys. Stop hitting me. Reset everybody one more time. And we can do the exact same thing we did with the race one, except we'll use the drift one which is even slower comparatively. So the regular Drift 200BX takes 6.1 seconds to get to 0 to 60 apparently, where this one takes 7 seconds, even though they have the exact same horsepower, and the power to weight is not that significantly different. After this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison and see if it actually is that much slower. But for now, we're going to spawn this thing up and start driving it and tell the AI to chase me down and see if they can catch me. Now, as far as I know, this has the exact same engine we had in the race one, with the only difference being the suspension setup and cosmetics. So I don't think I'll have much trouble escaping them, but we'll find out. I'll also do a lot of drifting since we do have the drift version, although we all know YBRs can't drift too good. Hey, that was actually an okay start to things, except I want to go left here. The more corners I throw into it, the harder it is for the AI to chase me. That's why I'm churning it every single opportunity I have. If it means going through a parking lot, yeah, I'm going to do that. I just have to assume the AI doesn't get too confused by that and just crash into a wall or something dumb like that. Because the AI can do things like that, and I can do things like that, where I pop up into two wheels and possibly damage my suspension. Hello, police officer. What you doing there, huh? Ooh. I swear, that just sounded like a car-to-car -car collision. Hold up. Did those two just crash into each other like a bunch of buffoons? Let's check this thing out. Did they? They did? Oh my goodness, you guys are so dumb. You are the dumbest people I've ever seen. I'm out of here. Oh goodness, I'm dumb too. I spun out. And I hear them crashing into each other some more. Hey, look at this. We could actually go back to where we started. That'd be kind of funny, right? So I lost the cops and I'm back to where I started all in like, what, one minute? That is amazing efficiency. All right, so let's go ahead and try out the last version we're going to be driving, which is called the Hazy or something along those lines. It's basically the street tune version of the Tuama, but it has a small horsepower bump over the street tune version, although apparently it's slower in a straight line still, which just sounds so weird. We need to do some testing with this later on, but right now I'm just going to drive this thing around and see if it feels like the street tune 200BX. And honestly, this is my favorite looking one. You know, I'm just looking at it right here as I try to drive and it's like, man, that car looks nice. Here's a dumb idea, okay? We're going to try to drive and this is going to be the camera angle we use. That way we can admire the looks of the car and drive at the same time. Oh goodness! See, my goal is actually just to kind of stay on those tracks right in the middle of the road, and they're swerving all over the place, so I'm swerving even worse. Oh no! I gotta make a quick spin around right here. Ha! Look at that! I didn't rotate the camera. The camera rotated on its own. That's cheating, though. Back to the camera angle. And actually, this is a straightaway, so it's kind of too easy, isn't it? Like, all I have to do is make sure I don't hit the curb, basically. So, back to the normal camera. And we'll go ahead and lightly wreck this thing up, and then we're gonna go to grid map and do some one versus one straight line speed testing to see if there is a difference between these cars that's as significant as it says. So we'll go through here about 100 miles per hour and then it's like, oh no, I've lost control of my car and I don't know how to stop. 
Oh no, and boop. Just a nice little bump right there. So, on to grid map. Well, grid small pure. Then we'll go to the other one and see if its transmission is any different. So I'm assuming it's gonna still have the six speed race transmission, but we'll make sure. Yes, it does, same flywheel. And then up here, gear ratios, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same, that's the same, 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 and same. So now to do the comparison, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn me up a nice fast car and then I'm gonna tell them to chase me and see if there's a significant difference in the way they accelerate. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm aligned up right in front of them and then we're gonna go fast for a little bit, try to get some traction so we can stay straight. There we go, that's straight enough probably. And that puts a good gap between us. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the AI menu and tell them to now go after me. And we're gonna see, is there a big difference in speed right here? Interesting! Actually looks like the Tuama is pulling slightly harder. Not a significant amount, but it's definitely not slower like the numbers would suggest. One thing I noticed though, uh, when you they were both accelerating, watch when the car shifts, okay? So it's in first gear, boom, second gear, boom. It might be the Tuama is shifting at 59 miles per hour, and then the 200BX is shifting at 60 miles per hour, so it reads like it's much faster than it actually is. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.